On this April 20th, New York officials are marking 420, known as Weed Day, by urging cannabis users to buy legal. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer says this day comes as the state's slow rollout of dispensaries has led to a flourishing black market. Five. Four. It was fitting to stop the count at four as Mike Girasi cut the ribbon for his new cannabis processing plant in Queens because the opening coincided with 420, the day connoisseurs around the world say they get a high with a little help from my friends as Paul McCartney and John Lennon lyricized. It's important that um, we all stick together, work together to ensure that there's a successful rollout of cannabis in New York State. Jirasi's firm, all-in-one extracting and product manufacturing, is the first licensed adult-use cannabis processor in New York State. It sells flour, but those in no call marijuana these days, as well as edible gummies and chocolates and pre-rolled smokes. They also press marijuana buds into wax for vaping. All this comes as the legal market is being hurt by the vast illegal market. New York's careful, some say painfully slow rollout, has illegal stores popping up, well, like weeds all over the city. My understanding is there are about 1,700 illegal ones. Manhattan Councilwoman Gail Brewer has been leading the fight to get the illegal stores closed down, but she is especially concerned about those that have opened up near schools, tempting students to imbibe before class. I have one that's in too close to a high school and another one that's too close to a uh, elementary school. Liquor shops would never be allowed in this area. And with 420 approaching, Governor Hochul unveiled a massive ad campaign to urge New Yorkers to buy legal. Our harvest will help build an inclusive economy and an equitable cannabis industry. Queensborough President Donovan Richards and Chris Alexander, executive director of the New York State Office of Cannabis Management, were on hand for the opening of Mike Girasi's processing plant. Some people have said that the state has been slow to roll out uh, the program and to issue licenses and the result has been a burgeoning illegal market. Do you think that you've been too slow? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously it's New York and nothing is fast enough, uh, but what we've done in 18 months, no state has, has come close to. I'd rather quality over quantity. And with the opening of the new plant, it might be fair to say, weed my lips, we're getting this joint rolling. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. She had to go. Did you hear her say yes, that? of course we heard her. Weed say that. my lips. That's that's Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Indeed. <laughs> uh,